Listen, I'm sorry. I do not care about these unless they start bringing back the cash prizes. I am not here for a wallpaper. I came to win. Anyways, let's do 3D World. Speaking of doing <laughs> nothing but winning. For real, though, they haven't done those in, like, forever. I must have made, like, at least, like, $50 from, like, winning all those tournaments. Bring that shit back. Uh, anyways, hello again, everybody. It's been a little while since I've done this, but... Super Mario 3D World! Hello, Soup. Oh, they still have Luigi Bros in this? That's funny. Usually that would only show up if you had, like, what was it? New Super Luigi U save data on your Switch? <gasps> Not you. Not you! Oh, yeah. Mario time. I'm here to play casually. But yeah, even though I finished up uh, my main playthrough with uh, Tyler, I just, I couldn't help but want to go back and do the rest of the Star World. Because this is where we stopped. But, like, there's all these levels. And, like, I gave it a week. I did Bowser's Fury, and I, I thought I had moved on, and I I just couldn't let myself. I still wanted to go back to these levels. So that's what I'm going to do here. And also, in the Bad Mike playthrough of 3D World, I did do these levels, and I have to replace... I can't just replace a little bit of that. I have to replace all of it. But anyways, this is, like... I'm already glad that I did this, because I love these levels. And I like this shiny metal. And I do not love skip squeaks! And I will not have it! Yeah, the back... I wouldn't want to call it the back half, but... The post-game of 3D World has some really, really interesting levels. I don't think I've done them since. I don't know, I think they're worth revisiting. And of course, there's Plessy, not in cat form, so you gotta give it up for that. <laughs> I love you, Plessy. Never change into a cat that is. The panels floating in the water always like kind of weirded me out. Because they're like floating in different heights, and they're just like flat planes with no sides to them. It's very strange to look at. Bowling? Ah! Oh! I'm putting a stop to this. Going back to, like, actually needing regular power-ups, though, is, is very strange. As opposed to Bowser's Fury, where you can, like, stockpile, kind of, whatever you want. But usually you, you can get what you need, so... Wait a second. Does this lead to what I think it does? Yeah, baby. Oh, that's cute. The fireballs can actually, like, create a path. If I'm not careful, this is going to turn into loss, so I'm going to... Actually... Can I, like... If I fall, can I, like, try it again? Hey! No, no, no. At first, I was trying to avoid loss, but now I've realized that there's nothing to do but embrace it. But to embrace my my dark nature. And to embrace Plessy with lots of rubs. Oh, so you get to keep that even if you, like, die. There you go. I, I have to, like, pet and drive at the same time. Oh, no! I didn't realize you could, like, bonk into the wall and he would just, like, stop early. I have to handle this very, very carefully. Because if I die, or if I take damage, rather, I'm pretty sure that box is only going to give me a mushroom instead of the fire flower that I need. And you know what that means. That's going to be the real loss. And there's, like, a live system. Coins aren't for power-ups anymore. The longer I think about it, the more I really did vibe with a lot of the decisions, like, design-wise, that Bowser's Fury made. Alright. I have to think about this extremely carefully, about which things I want to, to press. Okay. So this is, that's the first panel. Oh! 
I can turn this I can turn this around still. The more ground that I create, the easier it'll become. Oh. Okay, this is fine. This is not fine actually. So then it's another two. Wait, and then it's I have this wrong. Anyways, I'm just gonna fill in the board. I don't know why I'm like this! Oh boy! The music, like, starts filling in too as you get, like, more and more of the squares and get like closer to the, to the conclusion. <laughs> Tyler, thank you for the sub. Linkus. <gasps> oh, it's a good thing that it puts the. <laughs> I wasted so much time. I was very confused what the puzzle of this was until I realized you were trying to do loss. When aren't I trying to do loss? If there is any, like, tool where I can, like, self-express in a game, the term that is usually used is TTP, time it takes for penis, to create a penis. And I say it's TTL, time to loss. <gasps> oh no, I thought Bowser Jr. would just give it to me! Oops. But as it turns out, I do keep the green stars as well when I die, which is... Has that always been the case? That just does not feel right. But big if true, because then that means that I don't get to buy myself another opportunity. It means that I have to be responsible and just finish the rest of the stage. Like I said, responsible. This is the fucking monkey's paw curling when I said I wish I could spend forever with Plessy. I never said that, but I thought it, and that is too much. The game knows. Now that's a problem Mario can solve. That is, until March 31st when Plessy dies forever. And now I have no cat. I just have no bell. That seems silly, that if I choose to throw it off of a cliff, I lose it, even when I get, like, rewound. Yeah, those get kept then. Okay. <gasps> I think I'm beginning to understand Mike's fascination with bringing untold, unimaginable pain and terror and misery to the skip squeaks. I think this is what did it. At some point subconsciously, this did the trick. Like, these other ones I don't mind as much because there's, like, room to go around them and pass them and all sorts of things. These fuckers take up all the space on this platform! That side of you does help, though. Not sure how I feel about the three-quarter angle. Also, fuck you, Golden Tanuki Leaf! That must be the first time that's been, like, suggested to me, right? That's embarrassing on the first fucking level. <laughs> That was clean with it, though. That was clean. Maybe I'll, I will take the Fire Flower anyways. Even though I don't need it for, for Link loss. For Link's m accident. This could be helpful for eliminating the Skip Squeaks on that platform from a distance. Like, if I can, like, just stand and then do this, maybe? Oh! <sighs> I really, 
really thought I had it. And now it is it has become more clear than ever. The t the Tyler is not here to help me. <laughs> Speaking of Animal Crossing, though, the the Mario stuff for that just dropped, didn't it? Might have to check that out at some point this week. I don't know. I always want to get excited for Animal Crossing when they add new stuff, but the more I think about it, I think the durability system and the crafting stuff, whether or not that has any merit is arguable in in some scenarios, but I absolutely just do not like it for things like furniture. I feel like it takes something that's like already kind of difficult to obtain. And, like, now it becomes a matter of, oh, you don't have the recipe for this. Like, it's not the barrier should be making it, but more often than not, the barrier is knowing how to make it, and there's no way to overcome that unless the game just decides to give you the recipe. You can't work towards obtaining recipes, they just happen. Completely outside of your control. And, you know, I'm, like, almost, yeah, almost a year into Animal Crossing now. And I still have, like, barely any furniture that I actually want. I still can't find tables. I still can't find countertops. And I think it's... I just don't have recipes for tables and countertops. And then when you think you do, there are some pieces of furniture that, like, oh yeah, you need multiple pieces to learn, like, these component ingredients, and then you have to learn the recipe to put those ingredients into it. It gets very messy, that system, very quickly. Oh! Hey, Griffin, do you want help? Smile. I want to at least... <laughs> I have to prove that I can do this level myself. 2018 Griffin really, like, had one over on me. I am going to be perfectly honest, though. This may be a situation where I blame the game, because the walk speed is faster also. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But I wonder if in the Wii U original, if the wheel is spinning this way, if it's spinning clockwise, right? And I run against the grain of that platform. I think in the Wii U version, I stay still. Because the speed of Mario and the speed of the platform cancel each other out. But because Mario's faster in this, I'm going off the other side. And that's the kind of comparison I'd love to see between versions if that's like su substantially different in any way. Or if they actually adjusted the speed of the platforms to account for Mario's increased walk speed. Because that is an interesting problem to introduce and then like have to solve. I don't know. Especially because while you're on these wheels, there is like a timed element to it with the, the swinging gates. So you do have to like, wait in place a little bit. And if you go too fast in either direction, you see what I mean? I feel like the ideal situation is that I should just like lock in place, but I don't. So if I'm not careful, I overshoot it, right? I have to, like, start and stop. It's very strange. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sticking around on that platform. I know other games with random drops will do stuff like, you can turn redundant X into Y, then use 20Y to get X, but that might be too complicated for what they want. I think that furniture should just be furniture. I think there should be more systems like the Nook Shop, where, you know, there is no in-between step. Uh-oh. Would I have to go back and golden flag pull that one. <laughs> Meow. Oh, there's like still stamps untold that I've yet to acquire. This is a big deal. 
Yeah, if I want to go for 100%, if I want to do Champion's Road, I'm going to have to <laughs> revisit these levels. I think I might do the same thing as I did with the regular 3D World playthrough that I did with Tyler, though. Super Galaxy. Where I'll just, like, go through it casually, and then off-stream I'll go back for the green stars and stuff. That'll be the way to do it, I think. Oh, I forgot they brought these guys back. I just, like, knew to ground pound them. Because you can't beat these guys with regular jumps. They look so smooth now, though, don't they? As opposed to their pointier, blockier galaxy incarnations. There's a lot of, like... Uh-oh. Cycle skipping stuff you can do now, though. just went like flying to the right I like the recipes I think collecting them could be another fun thing to do if they weren't so random slash friend network dependent but I also haven't touched Animal Crossing since like the Easter event this is gonna be sacrilege to say I I feel like I kind of like miss the Easter event if that makes sense it was annoying but that was like still at a point where I, when I was like at the very least invested in Animal Crossing you know like, as much as I hated the egg shit, I still did it. So what does that say? Also, apparently I have no idea what I was talking about when I was... When I just said that I was gonna leave the green stars and come back for them later. Hi, Luma. Can I rub? W what does the Luma see in this perspective? Because I'm not touching the Luma. This is just like a mysterious hand. Does Mario know that he's in control of this, or... Is the hand sentient? Ooh! <gasps> That's fun. This is beautiful music to send a Galoomba hurtling through space. I just wish that when you kicked them, they would, like, they would stay gone. Excuse me? I think that says you don't value your time. Yeah, I think I'll keep the three-quarter angle on for this. Also becoming far less patient with this. Sorry, Luma. No, no time for rubbing. I will say, though, it is sections like this where I kind of do go back to appreciating, um, the locked eight-directional movement. Because they had sections where the camera was like this in Bowser's Fury, but the can it's not locked to eight directions in that mode. Um, and you really start to miss it there, for sure. Because if you don't have it, you're just going to, like, veer off into, into nothingness. Why is my rocket ship dr drifting off into deep space? Wait a second. Yeah, baby. <gasps> <laughs> I thought that was really cool. I think the intended way to do that is that you're supposed to use, like, a cat bell for that. I don't know where I would find one of those in this level, but I guess I get to keep it after I die, so I'm cool with that. Oh, this is like a diagonal path. It's an octor- uh, an octor doctagonopus path. This is like a sunshine bit, isn't it? There's like red and blue flipping platforms that are arranged like this. That was a beautiful disaster. I'd be very curious to see a model rip of the, the Comet Observatory in the background there. Like, if that is just, like, a model rip from Galaxy, or if they actually, like, remade it in, in some capacity for 3D World. I don't know, I'd have to get a closer look.
Because that's like the whole thing. You can see the bedroom, you can see the fountain. Oh, I knew I was missing a green star though. Okay, wait a second. This is perfectly fine. <gasps> oh, this side view is not helpful here. I want to see if I can do this, though. I don't think I can. I think you have to go back through here. Yeah, sorry, buddy. No tricks for you. You can see the kitchen. Look at all these kitchens! Yeah, that's a good look. Hi, Rosalina. Oh, this actually, like, zooms in. Perfect. I mean, it has, like, added, like, PBR. There's, like, metallic surfaces that, like, don't have that level of, like, reflectivity in the original Galaxy version. So it's they definitely went back and spruced it up at least a little bit. But the kitchen and the bedroom in particular do look kind of low-poly, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, and you know what? They don't... They actually do have the little landing platform where the, where the Captain Toad spaceship shows up. I was like, oh, gotcha! There was one thing they didn't add, but then they did. Rose of Lena. Speaking of comets, are you planning on streaming Outer Wilds? Uh, I believe that's what I said. Hi, Rosalina. Where'd you come from? Uh, yo, who's this character? Aw, oh, that's a cute stamp. I can't wait to ruin it somehow. But uh, I think they said that that's coming to Switch in like the summer, right? So... I don't think I have to worry about that for a while. Wow. Oh, I like the... the rotating stars beneath these two, amongst the floating platforms. Uh, maybe I will play as Rosalina for this one. For Rolling Ride Run. Cuz... each of these characters has like kind of a drawback, right? Like Peach can float but she's slower. Or Toad can run faster but he can't jump as high. And I think Rosalina is also, like, a little bit slower. But now that everybody's sped up... Let's see how good these really are. Yeah, she can move. She can move for sure. Oh, fuck! And the, like, extra jump she has? That feels really good, actually. That keeps your speed when you do that. Because the way I recall that move working in the original 3D world is a little bit like the homing attack in like modern Sonic games where you would just like, it cancels your momentum and it's slower than your top speed and you drop like a stone after using it and it just feels bad. But you can like build up speed and then carry that speed into like the double jump. That's really, really nice. I like how you can see all these, like, peck marks that are chiseled into the wood. Because a couple of bird brains have been going... Uh, 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 they've been feeling a little bit peckish. Oh, it kicks me out before I can get that, so I, I would have had to plan to get that first. <gasps> Speaking of, hello, conch door. We meet again. Uh. Oh! This is like a good attack too. Mario doesn't have anything like that. That's like an offensive move, like a punch or a little break dance. But Rosalina does. Rosalina's got the moves. So disappointing that this doesn't have gyro controls anymore. Outer Wild seems so cool. Yeah, I've heard a bunch about it. Um, before it got ported to Switch, so I did have like a. Well, I, I also didn't do any research into what the game was, so I can only say I had so much interest in it beforehand, but... Yeah, like, seeing that in the direct and, like, knowing what the premise is now... Yeah, I think I could get into that. That'll definitely be one that I give a shot. However, in the more immediate term of indies that I would like to see come to Switch, um... What is it? Sea of Sorrow? That comes out tomorrow, I believe, so if I can stream tomorrow, then I'll probably do that. Because it's, it's not November, but uh-oh. 
Uh oh, this is asking for disaster. <gasps> no! It is very cool, smile. Do not look into it anymore, smile. Oh, I like that she has the grand star symbol there. Grand! <laughs> I really threaded the needle on that one. No! Why? See, this is why it is so sad that the Switch doesn't have a microphone anymore. Because, well, compared to the Wii U, rather. The Switch does not have a microphone anymore. They, they It launched with one, and then they t t turned it off. They took it away from us. Um, no, the double cherry is up here. That's a fun skip. Although I still have to go back to bring the wheel, so I can only, it really only accomplishes so much. But blowing into the mic on Wii U did like all sorts of cool things. And as a matter of fact, I vividly remember in 2018, loudly grapefruiting into my gamepad, and all these pink things would just be eliminated instantly. Boomerang is not just, it's its just not the same. Like, I could do a screen wipe on that shit. Now all I have is the death technique, which you might think is a bit. But need I remind you, according to Angel's eroticsexsolutions.com, the death technique is another one of her, like, tutorials that she does. This has got to be a thing that I can do. Something up here? Like any invisible coins or... Nothing, really. I guess that's what this is for. I can go even higher yet. I guess it's a good thing that I somehow managed to preserve all of this. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, so... I think if I can like build up a running start here. If I go to the end of this platform, then like do this. <gasps> Careful. I have to like align very, very delicately. Like, I think it's very telling that there are many assets from the base campaign of 3D World that they brought back. It's like, oh yeah, this mechanic still works for Bowser's Fury, but they didn't bring those back because those would be even worse without the eight directional lock. Has she come out with any new techniques since? Um, I haven't visited Angel's Erotic Sex Solutions in a while. I should, though. I've got one. Femi, you have a technique? <gasps> oh, fuck this level. Well, nothing to see here. I can't believe that they put this, like, this stage in the trailers for 3D World. This is the sort of thing that you simply do not spoil. See, the tricky part is that you could choose to intercept it early if you want to, but then you don't get, like, the goodies. You can just deadass outrun walleyes now. Also, sped up double cherry pass is kind of a banger. Bye! I'm still missing one more. I th it's either up here or it's down there. Which is a difficult conclusion to come to because that, that is everywhere. That doesn't rule anything out. Give me the flagpole. Oh! I can't catch it! I can't get the cap off! I don't need those coins. Oh no! How embarrassing! Oh my- guys, I just remembered an image. Now, I don't know where, where I would find it. It's like a DeviantArt inflation image involving Rosalina. Need I say more? I'm sure chat's already on board for that one. Griffin, say no more! I can't wait to see it. 
But like, I don't think I've ever saved it, unfortunately. I think I still have to go up here if I want Golden Flagpole, though. Which is at least worth trying. Come on, come on! Here's what I'll do. I'll get this, so I don't have, like, the depth perception issue. <laughs> I'll come back for that, then. <laughs> Neat tip for brushing your teeth slash tongue. Squeezing your left thumb can dampen your gag reflex. That is actually... Now that, that is a technique. Do you have a DVD, Femi? Perchance? I wanted to try the dive, but if I do that, that cancels your your top speed, I think, doesn't it? Because it makes your uvula and other sort of gaggy flesh fall back more. And these two techniques stack. Smile. Oh, and the, the, other, the other technique being tilting your head back slash mouth upwards. Griffin, do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? Oh, you can't... Wait a second. This is just straight up a new track. This only shows up in this one level, doesn't it? There's something up here. There's something up here. There's gotta be. I was trying to, like, learn how to do dives. I think I'm just gonna get up here by doing this. There is! Wait, but there is, though! Rosalina! Nice going, Rosalina. This is a fucking train wreck. Wow, Rosalina, that was so funny when you got all big and destroyed all the blocks. <laughs> Wish you would do that to my my metropolitan city. Ha ha ha. Wouldn't that be so funny? Ha <laughs> ha. Wouldn't that be so funny if you were a giant and then the Bloomberg building? Ha <laughs> ha. I feel like there's something else up here though. <gasps> you know there is, baby. Whoa! Is it the one you've sent me before, Griffin? I don't know, it's- is it? It probably is, now that I think about it. If you can find what I'm thinking of, then... Please send it to me. I feel like I would have shown it to you, it's. Oh, you can kick the balls. The, you can kick the bombs like the soccer balls. Tyler, you make very distraught faces now. I think once you see this image, you will you will change your mind. See, so I'm just gonna leave this here to do its thing, assuming that it eventually detonates when you leave it idling like this. I don't think it does though. I had. I forget how picking things up in this game works, and it's still extremely weird! No! Oh look, this is a thousand percent the sort of thing you would DM me. The skybox is very- WHAT IN THE WORLD?! It's very Galaxy 2-y. feel like I've made things a lot harder for myself now. There are like dispensers though, right? Oh god. Can I- 
fighting the clock here. There we go. Like, if I had collected the star and then died, that would have been a, a big difference. Because I would at least get to keep it. But not, not so. Oh. I guess that's helpful. Why would I do this? Oh, that's why I would do that. Hold to pick up, tap to throw. I feel like it just made more sense before and it makes sense less now. Whoa. Whoa! Where is Dino Time? Gone. All right, Rose of Lino, we gotta move. For a second, like, I remember there being a challenge room where it's like this kind of checkerboard grass and you're like running from the, uh, the Koopa football players. But I think now that I real, I, now that I think about it more, I, I believe I'm just thinking of, of a Super Mario Party minigame. I guess it's so you can carry stuff without running, but yeah, it's a little weird. I think they should pull a new Super Mario Bros. U in this game. Which is to say that they add in some sort of weird shit on the title screen. Where you do some bizarre button combination that somehow involves clicking the sticks. And then it unlocks the original movement that isn't fucked up. I think that's the best I've done so far, though, with these things. That is a very uninterested yay. Uh, we'll do a Captain Toad level. SPIN! He really, really does say Diaper Adventure. There's no way around it. Here I am. Oh boy. Toad thinks it's very funny. He chuckles to himself. Like he's in some sort of carnival. But this is no laughing matter. I can't reach that, can I? <gasps> yeah, once you fall, you can't move in midair. But that's okay, because I can do this. Uh, how do I get that one, though? There is actually a mushroom over here, and a green star. That, that wasn't even in any... It wasn't even in the hurting position. I just touched it. I simply made a bad choice. I can't find any R Rosalina through some skimming. But I am going to be sending you something that you might be interested in looking at later off stream. Now, it's. Does the image involve sports equipment? Because that's what I'm asking. That's the one that I'm looking for. I, that'll narrow it down a lot for you, I think. Oh, there is. Oh, never mind. I thought I had found some, like, speedrun strategy. That requires you not to walk around, but I suppose not. I feel like it does, yes. Okay, after this, after this level, I'll go get it, I'll go get it. Wait a second. I remember the trickery here. Oh, but that's like on the wall, I can't get that from down here. I would have to like rotate it and then like go all the way back for it. <gasps> well, I guess that's what I'm doing, isn't it? I do not like Toad's laughter. It sounds like I'm tickling him, and I'm not in a, in a mood to tickle Toad. I'm not in a mood to tingle my tingle.
So you have to like position yourself in a, in a certain way to like land on the green star. And I'm not exactly sure how I would do that. Oh, I, I, okay, I see. So you have to drop down here and then I'm gonna wait for this. I'm gonna wait for this cycle. You have to go around and then walk off like here. Honestly, I thought you've shown it on stream before, but apparently our DMs have absolutely no trace of anything Rosalina. Is Rosalina not in this image, though? I feel like she is. There's only so many Nintendo princesses that you can hate Andy, sweetie. Alright, I'm gonna open up Discord back up. I'm gonna see if this is the one. I really hope it is. If you found this, it's this is going to be a miracle. Uh, well, if you did find it, I don't see it here. Can you, like, pin it or, like, resend it to me? I will start one more new level as I await your response. The last thing Itz and I discussed was the Shovel Knight and Arby's promotion. Which I guess I have not talked about on stream. Um, McDonald's slut that I am, I... Uh, I'm not really a, a, much of a fast food guy, because so much of it, uh, pretty much with the exception of McDonald's, actually, uh, is, is super gluten-y. So that's not really everything that's been, like, majorly on the table for me. Um, but I will say that even though Arby's is disgusting, the promotional thing that they have for it has Spectre Knight holding, like, a takeout bag of Arby's. And for him, I would do anything. So, it's weird that they just like kind of spoil the surprise of the Gusty Garden Galaxy remix in this normal ass level as opposed to saving it up for Champions Road later. Oh, I thought this was going to be like a like a fake out. There is absolutely nothing wrong with taking that pipe. I guess you might technically launch yourself off screen, although I don't know if that's even possible. I don't know, I feel like they could have gotten away with like using the, the Trick Trap Tower music, like the electric guitar one, that they usually use in the lava stages. Like it's beautiful, it's a space level, I get it, it works. I just think this would have hit a lot harder if it was exclusively in Champion's Road, you know what I mean? But I guess at this point, Gusty Garden Galaxy has kind of just become this all-purpose, cool music that they can use for whatever they please. Because they nailed it so fucking hard and they know it. There it is. I don't know if I need the double cherry for that, but... Well, I, I shouldn't need the double cherry for anything, actually, because this is the end of the stage now. <gasps> there was a little Luigi! Oh yeah, I saw there, there were like some extra platforms kind of lurking in the background. That explains that. Is McDonald's not super gluten-y? Well... Stuff like the buns are, but a lot of places don't have, like, separate fryers. Because french fries aren't, like, they don't have to be gluten by default. But a lot of other restaurants will use the fryer for their fries as the same fryer for, like, a lot of other stuff. Um, which just, like, contaminates the fries just, like, immediately just makes them inedible. Uh, but McDo McDonald's has separate fryers for their fries, which means I can eat them. And it's a good thing, too, because they're damn good fries. Oh, wait, so you didn't find it then? Wow. 
I'm trying to think to myself, like, where I would have this image. Because I've posted it, like, on my Twitter a few times before, but I wouldn't subject anybody to, like, digging through my Twitter media history. You don't have to go very far back before it starts getting weird. I was a fucking freak in 2017, 2016. <gasps> okay. Can't grapefruit those. Can't grapefruit those. Oh, there's... Are the checkpoint flags always this big, or is this like a giant flag for giant Rosalina? I don't even know at this point. No, but I swear I know what you're talking about, though. I was really hoping that that would be a secret and I would be a genius. <gasps> no, 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 no! <gasps> this is a safety spot. This is like the only level that they like use the giant the mega mushroom in like any like serious capacity. Like of all the power-ups, that one definitely, definitely gets used. Like by far the least. What is this? This is like a secret exit. Boing! I forgot about some of these levels, right? I thought that they were worth revisiting. Wonderful! a good screenshot right here. I want the bird to not be blinking, though. It's a very fast-moving bird. Alright, so do not press ZR or ZL, as I am all constantly so tempted to do, because now I can add a stamp, which, believe it or not, is actually appearing right side up for once. In Bowser's Fury, these had, like, bizarre rotations. Like, they would just start upside down. Excuse me? Where has my stamp gone? I gotta peel that shit. Why would it not? Is there any way to, like... You can rotate the stamp like this, but you can't, like, hover it away from any surfaces. This is, like, the best I can do. She's just, like, kind of peering through the wall. <laughs> cool. I want to get into this game's photo mode so badly. <gasps> In the base game with the with the nerfed walk speed, I would have landed that bit ruined by the game. Yeah, there's a lot of weird behavior like that. I feel like it should be easier in 3D World. Like, I'm ready to forgive it in Bowser's Fury because there's a lot more complex surfaces in that game, but 3D World has so many just like flat rectangles with rounded corners you think it would be so easy to do. Peepa's fog bog. There's, there's bees in here. I guess the walls here stick out slightly from their actual hitbox. Oh, I remember this stage. This one's cool. This is like also one of the few like actually open stages in 3D World as well.
I'll tell you what though, even though this is certainly is not a galaxy game, this is kind of like more open than any like section of land that has ever been in galaxy. I think I need a star to free Toad from this curse. He's haunted by the demons of his past. Ooh. Might actually want to use this boomerang flower that I have in reserve here. Wait a second. If I can, like, climb this tree and then throw a boomerang... Oh, there's just, <laughs> there's just a platform here. Okay. That's a lot easier than what I was trying to do. It's weird to think about how, like, the Pokies' body parts are left behind as you take them apart, and then they're just your plaything to do with as you please. Balls. Why does it go over? Okay, I'll ground pound. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But I need to find... I don't want to leave yet. I need to find, like, a star somewhere. Oh, maybe it's in this glowing grave. Hmm. This is, like, a good hint, though. Oh, Rosalina's fire flower outfit is great. And remember, kids, if you ever see a grave, make sure to sit on it. You, know, you gotta jump and you gotta land your butt on all of them. And maybe, if you do it enough, you'll get a special surprise. This grave, maybe? This is the one, baby! I knew there was a star hiding around here somewhere. Oh my, you can really get moving with this thing. Now I am your new ghost. Alright, well I've got to get moving now because I spent a lot of time out here and there's like more level to go. In Peepa's fog bog. And it's like, I'm limited by the speed of this platform as well. Oh, at least they give you another one of those though. That's nice. Good. Oh, this is interesting. If it lowers all the way into the the, the fog bog, does it, oh hey, does that like damage you or oh? That's a good fake out. <gasps> that one isn't though. I actually don't know what the get the the gimmick here is. I think you have to throw it like that. Weird. We really are living in a fog bog. God. I'm so smart. Also, it seems like you don't take damage when it hits the bottom. I thought it would like sink into the, the purple goop. But I think it's just the challenge is just visibility and visibility alone. Is there another one of these? No, okay, just these. This is actually difficult. I might want to bust this out just so that I like don't die if I hit one of the peepas. Here's your peepa! I'm getting a lot of like almost gold flags and it's driving me insane. Woohoo! Now I, like, want to start looking for this inflation image that I'm thinking of. It's 
I wonder if, if you go on DeviantArt, if you're still looking, if you could search up, like, Rosalina eats the balls, or Daisy eats the balls, see what results you get. I promise this is not a troll. This is actually genuinely helpful advice. See, this is the music that I was thinking of. This is the banger. Though if I recall correctly, the stage is actually kind of a fucking nightmare. This is some, like, really cool geometry. I love the visuals of this, but there's, like, a very notorious challenge to get one of the green stars, if memory serves correctly. Oh boy, here we go. I don't think this is even a green star challenge. This is just what is, like, actually expected of you here. Is there really nothing in here besides just, like, a dude? This always gave me such a tough time. Oh, it's happening! It's happening again! Oh, you don't have to time the button press, you just have to hold down the jump button. Oh, that's easy then. Oh, you have to make it up here with the cannon box, though. And that adds a little bit of a wrinkle, doesn't it? But if you just have to hold it, then that's fine. Every playthrough of 3D World that I've tried, that has taken me so many attempts to get right. The fact that all you had to do was hold it is driving me up the fucking wall. But getting up the wall is what I want, so- <gasps> IT'S FOUND IT! IT IS ROSALINA! Okay, I found the picture. This is the- yeah, this is the one that I was thinking of! I'm- I- I, I didn't know that the, if this would actually work! Here. Here, look at this. Great job, Rosalina! You ate all the balls! Now we can't play! I hope you're happy for what you did. Daisy's just fucking <laughs> poking it with like a family guy expression! <laughs> God fucking damn it! I don't know, just the fact that it feels like they're just for real mad at her <laughs> is really fucking funny to me. <laughs> oh, wait a second. This calls to me. Oh, wait, I didn't... Guys, I didn't bring water with which to hydrate myself with. I... I... Unfortunately, despite how badly chat wants it, I sadly cannot fill my mouth with water and then say WONDERFUL and drown as I do it. Peach just sounds like mildly disappointed with her, like it's a minor inconvenience. Does this inconvenience look minor to you?! Wow, dehydrated Douglas. At least I'm not a, a walking Wally anymore. That's the last thing I'd ever want to be. I don't know, like in 3D World, I don't have this problem anymore. Of like not holding Y. Once it starts playing like a 2D Mario game, then I'm used to using the run button again. But with Bowser's Fury, I just like could not get into it. Well, now what? <laughs> Wait! Well, now what? Luma, you gotta help me! 
I'll give you as many Rosalina rubs as you want. I just need you to, like, drive my car for me. <laughs> Is there anything, like, stampable? Can I stamp the box? Oh, I can stamp the box. The bloom on these stamps is fucking insane. Like, I just- I just can't see any of the details in that anymore. Anyways, off I go. This is <laughs> Rosalina's punishment for eating all of the balls. Yeah, the cannon boxes don't actually have any, like, ammo in them. This is just, like, extracting all the balls that Rosalina has been eating. <laughs> the tricky part is I have, you have to charge it to shoot it just that little bit further. Yeah, okay, that actually does end, though. I got used to it because of, ironically, Sonic Lost World. Because the cat wall climbing thing reminded me of the parkour. Oh, I don't have to do this again, though, now. I keep the star. Whoa. Wait, I want to know what this is. Neat. I don't think I knew that that was there. Oh god, this is gonna get tricky. Having to, char to charge this while there's a dry bones lurking around. Yeah, I know for a fact that they're not done dishing up this challenge yet. <gasps> Tribals, help me! Nice going, Rosalina. I hope you're happy for what you did. Guys, I need to ask you a serious question. Do I use that Rosalina picture <laughs> as the thumbnail for the YouTube mod? <gasps> Absolutely not. <laughs> But I unlocked Rosalina! It's relevant! Oh, you have to fire diagonally. I was trying to, like, align myself. That- oh, you can see them, like, sliding a little bit. There, now- now they're, like, abandoned. Now I don't have to worry about them coming back. As long as you credit the artist, smile. Well, it's- you- you found the image for me, so you would be able to hook up a source, but I think... <laughs> chat has the right idea here. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. See, all these setups rely on, like, the original, like, walk speed and the distance you can jump and stuff. So, like, the timing is, like, very strange now. Not like it's a challenge for me, though. Should I put it in as seen on? I think people have seen enough. Although I sure haven't. Look at- okay, so let's, like, take inventory of what's in here. We've got one basketball, one volleyball, one soccer ball, like, there's, like, tennis balls, there's golf balls. I don't know what that one that looks like the inverted Coca-Cola logo is. Is it a ping pong ball? I hope you're happy for what you did. A bonus world has opened! Like, Rosalina cleaned out a whole fucking footlocker. 
Do not play as Rosalina in any levels with the giant baseballs! Oh no! It's a level with the giant baseball! <laughs> what have I done? It's like around here, isn't it? Did they remove it from this version? I don't think it's in this version of the level anymore. Oh my god. Rosalina ate them all! They're not here anymore! I hope you're happy for what you did. It's in a crate, I think? I'm going back. I'm going back to check if there's crates. No. The timing. <laughs> These, by the way, are not seconds. This is depleting far faster than 10. There are crates, I will examine them. I don't think I even saw any, though. <gasps> Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh! Amazing. Amazing! Oh, I got to keep that green star, though, so no worries about that. Nice going, Griffin. You played the level again for no reason. I hope you're happy for what you did. Yeah, Mario seconds aren't real seconds. Oh, it's a star here. I think I've heard it before that, like, it depletes every 30 frames and that's a second? Or every 20 frames or something like that? But I guess... 30 frames a second. That would still be just regular seconds, now that I think say it out loud. Oh. So no green star down here, then. Unless... Wait a second. Wait, if I can combine that with, like, the spin... Fuck! The power-up cancels it out! <laughs> Holy shit, the momentum that I got at the last second there! I thought Mario seconds were every 100 make a minute. Do they? There's, like, some sort of rhyme to its reason. Where it's, like, something, like, dependent on game logic, or... I don't know. Oh, I didn't need to do that. I am apparently going to need a whole lot more of these clocks, though. Super Bomb survival seconds are 85% of a second. Are they? Tyler, why? That's so extra. Wait, I already got that green star. That's what I was trying to get to before. If it's not that, then where could it be? I was going back for something that I already got. 
because rounds felt slightly too long with real seconds. Where is this last green star? Guess I don't have time to figure it out. Yeah, that extra vertical boost is insane. Definitely makes the long jump situation a lot less like... Those are different because of the, the added distance. But the Rosalina double jumps you can like change more based on what you need for the situation. Oh, and Super Bell Hill. That's right. All of these levels are remixes of, of some kind or another. I think it was in that pipe. Oh. I thought, doesn't it just take you back though to the... Oh, look at that. She is a black cat. I was saying that earlier when I was, like, asking who the black cat represented in Bowser's Fury, and, like, I only kind of half-believed. And I was told Rosalina was the answer. Does that mean Rosalina's bad luck? Given my performance tonight, maybe so. Although I haven't done nearly as badly in any stage as I did in, the, in the, the first one earlier tonight. Please, I want nothing more than to simply see- FUCK! I hope I'm able to reload this room. <gasps> nope. Nope. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Oh, that one sounded like more like... I don't know. That had like a different vibe to it. <laughs> Just her like clinging onto the wall all the way to the very end. So the secret is actually Spike fucking sucks. There we go. Oh, I guess you're supposed to use like the crack on the ground. Like this line here to align yourself? I wasn't using that earlier, that's probably why I wasn't, like, set up with it properly. I was really expecting that to get me, but I guess I can swipe it just like that. Yay! This slope is, like, extremely weird. Just like the way your like momentum responds to it. Particularly when you're like hitting like the, the corners of the curve. Like the top and the bottom of the slope. You kinda like jerk. It's cool that spikes like fit so cleanly into this level though. There's a lot of things you can do to twist a level, but this really feels like it kind of belongs. Oh, there's no rest of the bean pole. 
That was an amazing landing. That was so precise. Let's be a little more careful with this tree, though. So I have to aim myself, and then there we go. Oh, this is for a green star. But I'm apparently I'm still on pace for getting all these coins. Assuming that is that they behave the same way that the CAD coins do in um, Bowser's Fury, where like they fill in based on the progress of like where they're located in the level. Oh, there's a green star here. Because I don't see any other CAD coins. Or coin coins, for that matter. It might be back here at the start somewhere, like behind me, maybe. I'll check, like, the shadows to see if there's any, like... Oh, yep, here we go. Oh, they took the trees away from the ending of the stage. But the good news is that I get to climb to the top of the flagpole, baby. Black Jungle Drift. Let's go. <gasps> See, like, none of the other, like, things that Rosalina gets are, like, black like that. So I thought she just got, like, a turquoise cat or whatever. Speaking of, I am still a turquoise cat and I could have climbed that wall. I bet there's secrets up here. Barely see where I'm jumping down to, though. <gasps> oh, no. Like, there was a platform there, but I didn't, like, land on it. Just, like, just slightly past it. Now I'm gonna have to use this. I always forget that I'm allowed to keep these. the ground. Okay. How do I get that? I was just a cat, now I need to have a boomerang Oh. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense! You'll notice that the camera isn't centered right now. But is there still- yep. I'm still cat. <laughs> okay, but I get to keep it though, I get to keep it though, right? I have all three now. Also, do these levels just not have stamps anymore now? Because there's no, like, indicator in the corner, right? Like there usually is. kind of weasel pasture there. Because there's still a few that I haven't filled in, but I guess those are just because of the bonus levels I've still missed out on. Just the ones that I didn't 100% properly. No more stamps! No more trolls! Now that was perfect. You've been blocked! Oh... Uh-huh. <gasps> Hi, Captain Toad. No more Fortnite stamps!
Oh, that's another good level to revisit. I was wondering if there was something over here. Mystery House Brawl. Oh my god, that's a lot. That's a lot of green stars. Um, I'll do like this wave. Once the purple zone opens up, then I'll go back for that. Let's do Trouble in Shadow Play Alley. Let's go. Oh, that's trouble, all right. Ugh, Tanuki. <gasps> that's not the real Bowser. That's a imposter. Guys, I've tried my best not to say anything about how when you wear the, the light box, it looks like Among Us. I can't stay silent any longer. Wait, so if I, like, do a roll and then a... Oh, you can't, like, cancel out of that, though. You can't do a Donkey Kong roll. I'm, like, working with very limited... To oh, I need the boomerang flower, dumbass. Well, hope I don't need that anymore. Oh my god, that is a tall stack of Goombas! Sussy! I don't need to recollect them, Griffin! Okay. So do these have like a like a mystery box on top or something? I don't actually know how to get out of here. Oh, that is what that is. But I- oh, no, I already have all of them! I can just go immediately! That was fast, okay. I feel like a long jump would have overshot that, though. This is driving me crazy. I have so many of these that are, like, just barely at the top. Like, I wouldn't have had to replay that stage for anything had I got that, but now I do. Oh yeah, this is like different. These walls weren't here before. I actually, this is like one of the- <gasps> ah! Where did it go? Fucking ferocious! She can't stop devouring these things! I hope you're happy with what you did. It would have been cool if the shadow level was an option in Mario Maker 2. I don't know, I see silhouettes as kind of a limited thing. Why? Why are there so many? Rosaline is fucking addicted. This is a problem. <laughs> I hope I'm not like missing any of these along the way, because I feel like I am. 
That was so clean. That was so clean. See, imagine how quickly I would be able to do sections like that, though, if I could just, like, go into the microphone. It's night and day difference. Oh, speaking of, daytime level now. Oh, God. Oh, I should I should have taken the... Oops. Fireball's young! No, Rosalina, that's my sports equipment! It's a football! I chiseled it! It's food, Luigi! Also, I need to go back for that green star now. That's a tricky timer to actually, like, keep up with. That's a short window. <gasps> I might get those little... Flopters, is what they're called? That way they can't, like, fucking get me. But I'm trying to do my important work. <gasps> Shit. <gasps> that was so <laughs> close! <laughs> I should be hitting more of these, huh? Ah! Well, I definitely, definitely should then, huh? Okay, there's one more, and it's in there? <gasps> Here we go! <laughs> I was about to ask how I get out! I've been imprisoned for fucking baseball crimes. Oh, I just like knocked that hammer out of the air, that was sick! Aw, oh, sadly the secret that I was talking about. You kind of skip that part of the, uh, of the level. But in the original stage, I don't know why that's necessary with the cloud. In the original stage, there's, um, there's like a section where you can like just go, you can exit the building basically. Even though it's like an indoor level, so you're going like in and out of the palace. But it's not something that you would think to do. Which is why it was so, like, surprising. Why I, like, had to replay that level over and over and over before I, like, even understood that it was a thing that I could do. Okay, this is, like, this This feels very skippable, though. I had an opportunity to exercise my tricks and traps, and now... Before I couldn't, but now I can. Actually, as a matter of- it might require that of me this time, I don't know, actually. No, that's a warp box, so if I can do this, though... That depth perception is insane! <laughs> Oh, I had to, like, jump up into that. Okay. I get to keep the star anyway, so I'm good. See, here's what we're doing. Oh, yeah, that's much further away than I thought it was. Okay. That's easy. Shh. I don't even have to, like, touch their mouths to make them stop. I just gotta, like, rub them, and that's enough to, like, console them, to calm their... The storm in their soul. This, so this is the section that you usually get to skip, but I guess there just is no level after that anymore. <gasps> no.
Still no checkpoints either. Okay, I don't need to do this. There's like actually no benefit. Does this box just literally take- oh, okay. It's not much of a skip then, is it? Yeah, that is something that I've noticed is that these bonus, like, remixed stages definitely, like, kind of trim the fat. Because, like, this, the palace, um, Shadow Play Alley, like, pretty much all the stages we did, in some form or another, like, find a way to, like, cut out, like, entire rooms. I kind of, like, do like the pace of it, though. I think it's definitely to these remixes' benefit. Wait, what? Oh, that's why the green star is up here, because you have to be tall enough to reach it. I thought the trick there was going to be, like, trying to tilt it enough. Um, this is going to be a fucking nightmare. But Rosalina's attack could help. See, I, like, got bullied into this hole so many times when I was playing this with Tyler. There's very little chance I survived this in one go. The only reason my playthrough went beyond this stage is because I had someone else doing it for me. Oh, I think they just, like, kind of pushed each other into that one there. You got a thousand for each of these two. That's a lot of green stars worth. It's like very difficult multitasking. Okay. Well, that's the last one. Okay. I think the real bullies are, are the the typhoon flurries. Somehow this does not look to me like what is originally supposed to be on this platform. Like, the tilting behavior is still there as if it's supposed to have the rolly piece on it, and it has like the little catchers on the side, but... I guess it fell off. What are those space Goomba enemies called? The dudes that like have the cannons on them. The original ball eaters, if you will. Broken blue bully belt. But basically the point being that they also, like the balls, ate the- uh-oh. Ate Spike's little rolly thing. Oh, these guys! It's weird that these aren't, like, recolored blue. I think that would have been, like, a really simple opportunity. Those are Octumbas! Octumbas. I definitely would not have, like, figured that out on my own. Thank you. I wasn't anywhere close with my guess. That fits with, like, the whole Goomba Galoomba thing, though. I can probably just jump this whole gap now. Really? Not- not- nothing? There we go. I knew there was some sort of secret. If it wasn't on the wall, it was gonna be above it. Oh, shit. <gasps> but it still counts, baby. Will it really, though? Because I, like, died, like, as I was collecting it. Maybe so.
Yeah, it still counts. My god. What are we looking for here? Well, there's no green star on that further thing anymore, so... Ah, but there is over here. See, no problems with depth perception here. Okay, okay, okay. God, I love the distances you can clear! Just keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Still gave me this is like extremely fast. Don't don't retract. I hate that having the Tanuki suit like removes the ability to dive as well. I can't see any utility of wanting to like because you can already do a mid-air twirl, so that doesn't like add anything, I don't think, does it? Having an overwrite the crouch function too. All right, well, it looks like we're going back to this sooner than I thought I would. I think my skipping days are over. Oh shit. I don't recall the Sprixie showing me that secret, but okay. It's okay, it's fine, I don't even need them anyways. Oh, fuck this. See, if I had a dive, there's so many opportunities where I could, like, turn these fuck-ups around. <gasps> I hate you? Also, since when have the Dry Bones made the same laugh as Boos do? Well, maybe it's for the better that I- that I don't have. Mm. Holy shit, the save? But yeah, no Tanuki Leaf means that I can, like, put my money where my mouth is and actually, like, if I do make that sort of mistake again, I can turn it around. Like so. Th yeah, those things retract fast, my god. It is possible to get through these sections really quickly, though. You just need to be on, like, a good cycle for the platforms. Oh, there's a thingy there, huh? There it is! I can't believe I got the golden tanuki loof on that. The tanuki loof. The golden tanuki leaf on that stage. I was doing good. I had only ever gotten it on that one. That was embarrassing enough as it is. Well, speaking of embarrassments, off to the mystery house. Wow, 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 wow. 
Let's go. Oh god. What have I signed up for? God, and getting the green star is still like counted as a part of the timer. Trust this. This shit gives me way too much anxiety. Like, I, I can't, I can't, like, focus on anything else but this. What is this? You gotta blow on the microphone? Not sure if I should have done that. Halfway through, halfway through, halfway through. All these Captain Toad fucks. I kinda wanna drink them though. I feel like if I like poked one of these bitches with a straw and I sucked really hard, it'd be all over. It'd be over so fast. <gasps> Piranha Creepers. Creeper! Aw, man. I'm closer next to life, too. Which I could use, apparently. Since I'm doing all this Tanuki... Golden Tanuki Leaf Percent shit. Okay, that wasn't... That wasn't so bad. I recall there being an even worse one, though, so I don't think I'm out of the woods just yet. Damn. That's a fat 3 hundo. Okay, so how many of these are left? Should I do these tonight? That is a lot. That is a lot, a lot. But I also... It might be a stream's worth. Here, I want to take a look at the, um, the level list, which I think you get to by doing this. Let's see. So, World Mushroom. Wait a second. Wait, what? Oh, when you cross this, the, the world you're in, like, changes. Alright, well, with that in mind, let's check the map here. So, course list. There's World Star and World Mushroom. These are the ones that I just did. So, that's, like... 15-ish stages, and then this is like 12-ish stages. So it would probably take me about double the amount of time. And yet, I, I want to do it right now. I'm gonna do it right now. I'll just get good, and then there won't be anything to worry about. I'll just simply not die. I'll just pull my head out of my ass, and be the Mario god that I know I am. And then all these... catastrophes... It'll... it'll all just stop happening. If I have to revisit these stages anyways, like, I'll just get to the end of these as fast as I can. And I'll have plenty of time to spare. Sonic and the Secret Rings won't even know what hit him. I say this as I continue to get more and more green stars. Doing, trying to do this with motion controls is a challenge in and of itself, though. Well, let's be real, I'm not making anything any easier for myself. However, I think all the enemies do actually despawn if you can hit green. So that does help. Yeah, this is already the end of the, uh, end of the stage. Wait a second. <gasps> I remember fucking this up once. In 2018. I don't know if I can redeem myself. 
I don't know if Rosalina can be trusted to do anything, to do the opposite of putting a baseball inside her. She has to let go. Wow, okay. It's very big of you, Rosalina. I'm glad. This is a step in the right direction. Oh, that was, like, perfectly timed! Sometimes that, like, little extra flourish at the end when you hit the flagpole is kind of like... It can get timed weirdly, and it kind of, like, just doesn't flow... The music doesn't flow into it very well. That was, like, right on beat. So you don't have to be bad at this! Piranha Creeper Creek. After Dark. I wish they still did the Play Nintendo Izzy videos. And I know that this isn't possible anymore, because Izzy has been put to death. But... If they did, like, an Izzy After Dark, that'd be great. Oh, you have to, like, light all of these for green stars, though, don't you? There's, like, an extra step to this. extra step that I will now never ever realize, unless I can use these guys to continue lighting the torches for me. If I just, like, stand right here, that might work. And now that it doesn't, I'm, I could not be more disappointed. Unless. Oh, okay. There is hope for me yet. I just gotta watch where I'm creeping. I don't even need to get rid of all these guys. They take up a lot of space, but like... As long as you do the torches, that's all that matters. There we go. The darkened lighting in this is... whoa. Those cloud distortions are bizarre. Oh god, Roblox cookie platform. Whoa, that's cool. That's cool. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. We're on a roll here. I'm just curious if this like if this is gonna like lead me to a green star. Or if it just takes me back. I bet the challenge here is just also to light everything on the way. At the very least, I did get an extra fire flower out of it, so I guess that was the point? <gasps> an extra fire flower that I'm very- now, I'm gonna need the help of it. Very soon. Very, very soon. No, that was for a one-up is what it was for. Wait, this is the first half of the stage again, so I can just skip this shit. But I know now there's an extra here for me. I like that all you need to do is light the torch and that's enough. You don't need to hit the piranha plant. Just turn on a light. Yeah, this is the room that I'm still working on. You gotta jump for this one, it's a little bit taller than the rest. And that fire piranha is actually hanging out in one too. I didn't realize for a second. <gasps> oh god. This is like the, the worst position! Oh shit! That was cool. Just wanna clear some room for myself, just to be sure here. Okay. 
I don't know how many of these, if any, contain fire flowers, so I want to be extra careful about that. But it is an extra, so we're good. <gasps> I'm going to go overboard if I'm not careful. Well, the good news now is that I'm too short for any of those fireballs to even affect me anymore. See, so they're not all fire flowers, though, so I gotta watch for that. Gotta watch for rolling rocks in, in 12 hours. Oh, I see the play here. So this is a Piranha Creeper you're gonna want to keep alive and then bounce on it. Like that. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so far so good. Oh, this one's gonna be a really easy green star, though. For sure. Oops. Oh, no! Well, I don't really get a choice now, do I? That's it. That's all I can do. Unless there's, like, a way back up, but I don't think there is. <gasps> oh, shit! Okay, new plan. New strategy, I'm gonna take damage from the fire. You may say, Griffin, why do you do this? Because now I get the double jump back. So if I like run in like a circle here and then I do this and then I do this. We make no sacrifices on this stream. That felt really, really good to pull that off. I didn't think I could. That was a long one though. That was like a very arduous puzzle to solve. I don't have very good movement in 3D World very often. Feels good to mwah, to land it like that. I don't know, maybe this is too early to say, but I feel like doing World Fire Flower tonight as well was like probably the right call. I don't know. Oh, what? Oh, no. He like started moving like sideways and I was like confused by that, but okay. And the, the good movement days are officially over. But now that I know what's waiting for me, I can just do this. Oh shit, I thought this was like an opening in the ceiling that I could keep progressing up that corner. I'm gonna be in big trouble. <gasps> We're still in it? Let's go? Uh oh. Mm, water! This is what it feels like to be late to the bus. Having to repeat this one frequently is gonna be painful though, because it's an auto scroller. But I am also way ahead of schedule compared to last time, so. Or am I? Oh, can you not do the ground pound jump with the um the fancy bell with the lucky cat? Oh, you gotta do this. Ah! Yeah, I definitely don't want to ground pound now. Wait, fuck, but what's this? Oh, you've gotta be kidding. You've got to be kidding. Okay, that half of the level's down. <gasps> What is this bit? <gasps> I don't have any power-ups in reserve. Maybe that lucky bell wasn't so cringe after all. This is so <laughs> fucking stressful. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where's the rest? 
Uh-oh. I thought that that was a solid wall. I thought it was safe. I think even if I die at this point, that I don't think there's a checkpoint that I hit. So I might still be in trouble here. <gasps> no, why? Why am I not safe? I'm outdoors. <gasps> I'm still not safe. Yo, still got that golden flagpole, though. <laughs> That's a wonderful bird back there. Oh. Please a relaxing level next. I can't stand that shit. Faster Fort Fire, bros. I can do fast. I can do fast. Oh, hey, Close Stars, what's up? Okay, clean with it, clean with it. Just as long as there are no baseballs, we will be safe. Ooh, they really do mean faster. Even that. Don't these, like, lift you up or something? Oh, there's a timer up here now. That's the bit. Beautiful, perfect, outstanding, incredible, amazing. I sound like the fucking Sonic Colors announcer. I'm pretty sure verbatim, actually. Okay. This better be worth it. Okay, okay, okay. So there's number two. That's a fun coin formation. Oh god. Uh, I don't have any power-ups in reserve either. Final green star. Nice, nice, nice. Timer. Okay. The little sounds that those uh, little soldier guys were making was um also different too. Like their little hop hops were like sped up to fit the increased tempo of the music. Oh, <laughs> I almost overshot it. Late night work, critique tomorrow. You look far into the game, though? Uh, yeah, I already did this, like, last week. Um, I played everything up to the post-game. I did co-op with Tyler, which was a lot of fun, those streams, but, uh, I just, I just felt as though I wanted to go back. And so I have. To wrap up the, the post-game. And I'm having fun with it so far. Oh, <gasps> shitty, or Boo Mansion. Tyler's prophecy. Let's go. Oh, I forgot that this they, that they did this bit for this stage. That's fun. See who needs phonomone. I have all the filters I need right here. Eh? <gasps> I have fallen for this twice. There is never anything good on the lower floor. Can I go into this painting? That was another secret that I, like, wasn't expecting to come across, but I don't think I can. Yeah, let's go early. Those are really fast. Even with the increased walk speed, it's hard to fight that. <gasps> what is the matter with this place? Oh, she's saying mine. I thought she was saying bye. That was easy. <gasps> This really is shittier, Boo Mansion. It's not like indicating anything about the quality of the mansion itself. Just that the behavior of the Boos, they're, they're acting shittier than ever before. I was hoping I would be able to cancel that out. Okay, there's the last one though, so we didn't leave anything behind.
Oh, they're gonna be playing some tricks on me, though. Nice going, Boo. I hope you're happy with what you did. Eh? Oh, fuck off! I forgot about this! This section of the level goes in an endless loop until you can find, like, a secret exit. Which I believe is, like, down here or some shit. Look at this! This isn't, like, a secret. You have to find that in order to beat the stage. Guys, did you hear the, that there was a howling in the background? Wonder if that could be a... You know. You know. I remember that being fucking agonizing in the Wii U version. Like, something's wrong here. I feel like I'm missing a piece of the puzzle. Oh, shit. I wonder what the, the twist with this could be. Blast block, Skyway. Oh, did Rosalina eat all the balls again? Not again! Oh, God. And spikes. I will say it is nice to be playing this at, like, not a full frame rate, because I'm only, like, perceiving it at, like, somewhere between 20 and 30. But without the online hitches, at least, like, the behavior is smooth and consistent. I had to be Mario for this? Sorry, Rosalina ate Mario, too. Mamma mia! No, Rosalina, that's my brother, Mario! Clean with it? Oh, boy. They gotta put that shit on a question block, too. These are actually kind of difficult to judge, because they change so frequently. So far, so good, I think. Are there gonna be double cherries in this as well? I haven't seen much blasting either. Also, the fact that that roller keeps pace with these is really charming. Ugh. Oh, they should have put something there. Come on now. Still on track, I was really expecting to have, like, missed something. But we're good, we're good. Yeah, that double jump is, like, playing as Rosalina specifically in this level is kind of actually a lifesaver. Oh, that section's gonna be a nightmare, though, with that twist. I wonder where the last green star could be, though, because it's not up here anymore. So what part of this is a blast? Because there has not been a cannon this entire stage. I literally don't know how else to navigate it. It alternates so fast. I'm sure there's like some sort of big brain speedrunner who can just like swerve this flawlessly but I am not that gamer it's weird that they just put like coins here oh That one 
had to be like on my toes a little bit, but. <laughs> I have certainly had worse goes of it. <laughs> Gate. Yeah, we're already almost done with this. I've got to, like, circle back around for a few of these other ones, but I can definitely, like, finish the rest of these in a, in a reasonable time. Famous last words, of course. Oh, wait, I thought this was, like, a beach level. This is Sprawling Savannah Rabbit Run. And it's during the daytime. Well, I can't say no to some good alliteration, so you've got me there. Nice going, Rosalina. You ate all the rabbits. Playing as Rosalina in particular probably doesn't make this very easy either. Because there are definitely, like, faster characters that I could play as right now. Did you just, like, skip across the water there? My bunny friend? Oh, that doesn't do anything. I thought maybe there would be secrets. There is something over here, though. I like these clouds. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not that interested in the coins. 500 seconds. Oh, I thought I could go backwards through this. And that would, like, do the opposite of what that cannon just did. Yeah, so I guess you can just, like, go to the end of the level really quickly if you want, but... The actual challenge of completing this level... ...is the rabbit run. Okay, there's probably, like, some stuff in the corners, too. What the fuck?! These things can walk?! That's terrifying! Hi, Luigi. Hello, Mario. That's my handsome brother, Luigi. We. Hmm. Is it just other bunnies that I'm after at the moment? Oh. The, the sharp right angle turns really get me. There it is. And that's just a mushroom. Which, I mean, hey, I could use thanks, pal, but... Oh, there's a green star over there. No rabbits involved, even. Well, a few. Yeah, nice try. You gonna make me go all the way down there? I don't think so, my friend. What is slightly concerning is that I already got the plus 100 second clock at the very end. So the time that I'm, like, eating from is, like, all I get for the whole stage. Although the last green star might be, like, somewhere up, like, along this climb here. So we'll see where this gets me now that I, am, I actually, like, might have to commit to it. Yeah, we're fine. You can even, like, still see, like, the markings of, like, where some of the previous platforms and obstacles were. Oh, last green star is for Toad. For Tote. Oh, I don't have the, the thingy, though. Long jump will do the trick, though. I don't even need the Rosalina double jump. A bird! Two birds! Let's see. Pipeline Boom Lagoon. Is this the beach level? I know there's like a beach level where they turn it into like a speed run. And I, f I found that like really memorable for some reason, but yeah, this one isn't in either. This Bowser statue has got to go, though. I knew there had to be some sort of secret beyond just this pipe. All this, like, lying around here was, like, way too suspicious. 
See, that movement feels incredible, though. Ooh! Don't mind if I do. Yeah, there's something down here. Okay. <gasps> that was, like, infested. That's horrible. That's like when my house flooded. When they, they like took apart the windowsill and then a bunch of ants came out of it. Oh! Isn't quite what I had in mind. Oh, uh, oh, okay, come on. There's a secret that's being kept from me here though. Or maybe there used to be and they like changed it? I guess the secret was that I had to hold on to the, the blast box, but... I'm sorry, but it's not gonna happen. How up? How up can I go? And how up should I go? Okay. That's what I was wondering if it was like the mandatory path, or if that was, like, a side thing or not. Yeah, there's more over here. That hopefully is not tied to the blast box, and it is. Oh! But they give me another one right here, just as a little freebie. Oh, but the cannonballs can collect the coins for you! I was gonna say, a challenge like that can be tricky underwater, but that, like, is actually extremely helpful. And a clock! Well, wonders never cease! Wait a second. What is this? I wonder what that pipe was supposed to be for, then. Because I'm already at, like, the end of the Green Star sequence. The only other collectible is, like, that star that I missed at the very, very beginning. Weird. Stop. What if, like, while Rosalina was, like, still frozen in the air from that victory animation, like, the, the sand statue would, like, shatter open, and a bunch of little Goombas would, like, come crawling out, just scatter like insects, but Rosalina would still be there, helpless to do anything about it. Anyways, here's the beach level. Found it. Towering. Sunshine Seaside. Let's go. <gasps> oh, boy. Oh, shit. I think this palette is why I remember it, honestly. Like, the castle music. It's a very drastically different atmosphere from the original, that's for sure. Oh, I remember the gimmick with this. There are, like, keys on the beach you have to find. Which is the same gimmick as before, but... I believe they're, like, all related to, like, this now. Right? No? Maybe not. Or may maybe it is. Like, it's not related to keys, it's related to, like, the... the fire bros on top of all these towers. Actually, this might be better for, like, faster movement. If I want to cross the beach. Rosalina, you gotta snap out of it. Uncle Phil, you gotta kick that man's butt! Oh, this is like... This chugs through enemies way faster. Okay. Got a little bit of time to spare, but I think there's one more tower that I need to find still. Clearly there's something that I'm missing because I haven't opened up the way forward yet. Ooh! 
Lucky Cat. Oh, there's all the green stars. And what should be the last tower, but I still don't see the way out. I'm gonna go for these, though, first. Okay, I feel like that takes, like, ten seconds to reach. That's not worth it. That's very redundant. There's the last one. And it's not far from where I need to be, either. She spin. Oh, you know she does, and she's gonna do the biggest spin of all right now. <gasps> you thought I messed it up. Never. When, in any Mario 3D World stage, have I not lived up to my own expectations? <laughs> Name one moment. I dare you. Alright, so there are... Yeah, this is just like a small handful left now. This is doable. This is very, very doable. Honeycomb Skyway. This is like a remix of a level from the post-game. This is weird. Oh, it's like daytime. Did this one need a remix, though? I feel like I was okay with playing this just the once. There's like a good portion of these that are auto-scrollers, scrollers too, as far as the remix worlds go. I wasn't going to be satisfied until that, that fire piranha plant had, like, what got what was coming to him. I will stop at nothing. It's weird to look down, like, directly on top of Rosalina's head and see, like, the, the flatness of her crown. This is probably, like, the wrong way to do this. I guess that is technically, like, a little bit faster in the end, though. Because then you only have to go through the pipe once instead of, like, going in and out. It's just one trip through. I hope there's, like, a reward for getting all of these. Huh? Huh? No? Great. See, this is how they trick you. <gasps> no, why would I do that? <gasps> Wait, what even happened to my clone? Did, like, the fire piranha plant, like, spit into the pipe and, like, just kill me while I was in there? That's a horrible fate. So fate worse than death, I think. <gasps> I like drifted dangerously close to the edge of that ice. Yeah, is there gonna be like a an exit for me, or is this just like my life now? Uh huh. Oh shit, the daddy piranhas. <gasps> oh, this this bitch couldn't help but get a little bite, just a little nibble in. Okay. Whoa! <sighs> okay. The good news is that I have a lucky cat in reserve. So if there's ever a stage where, like, I mess it up again, I can just, like, just climb up the pole. Neg I'm, see, I'm not even gonna need it, though, is the thing. I'm glad I'm getting just barely good at this game, just as I'm like at like the last two <laughs> levels. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna need it for Champions Road though. That is gonna be its own stream. Like I'll finish up this world, I'll I'll get the rest of the green stars and the the golden flag poles. Oh, that's how this works now. It's not on a timer. It's based on getting caught by the searchlight. 
But yeah, I get the feeling Champion's Road is definitely gonna have to be like its its own thing. Oh shit. What do I- this is a horrible idea. I let Greed take control. Of all the places to get caught by a searchlight, too. <gasps> oh shit, that moves- so that is on a timer. And it moves faster than even the enhanced walk speed, so you really, really gotta watch your back there. So blue ones are locked to the searchlights, and then the orange ones do their own thing. allowed about green stars, because it's been a hot minute. Oh, but I don't have any lucky cats anymore, so this could be a difficult reach. Or unless it turns out the, the, the real cat boy was inside of me all along. That's a good rhythm. That felt good. Okay, we're on pace so far. I haven't missed any. Oh, but you can use... I don't want to break these blocks. Because I can use their shadow as cover. Had to happen. Did it, though? Is there, like, a, a cloud platform in this direction? I feel like I vaguely remember that, but hand isn't getting results, so I don't know. We'll see. The good news is that I can't break these platforms anymore because I'm baby. So that's all the green stars. All I have to do is just, like, survive to the end. And also get the golden flagpole. <gasps> Ugh, this is a little bit... Less than ideal! <gasps> oh, that gave me a fucking heart attack. Oh my god! My life flashed before my eyes. Okay, okay. I'm gonna need that one up, maybe. I'm gonna build up speed. I'm gonna get down here and I'm gonna, like, build up to a run. <gasps> I was worried that those were gonna, like, stay up. I can't approach from this side either, because then these will be like that. Actually... Actually, that's fucking brilliant! I don't even need the staircase! I don't need the spikes! I play by a different set of rules. I'm playing a completely different game here. I gotta change the category on Twitch. This is a good question. Do I actually know? Okay, it's, <laughs> it's Master's Fury! <laughs> like, is it still three houses? <gasps> That is a very red mouth. Alright, how are we doing for time? Yeah, two and a half hours? Yeah, I definitely should not have saved this for its own stream. That was a good call, for sure. But now the question remains, can I blitz the bosses? It really is interesting, though, comparing these bosses to, like, what we got in Odyssey, because I know, like, Mario games have never been particularly, like, what in the world? Renowned for their boss design. But I really like the way in Odyssey that you can, like, it's a little bit less of a waiting game as far as the cycles go. There's a lot of alternate things you can do to, like, interrupt the sequence or, like, move things along faster, or even just, like, straight up get a hit in early by just doing something unexpected. And with these, it's not so much. You definitely have to play by the rules a lot more with bosses like these. I think the behavior of, like, a, like a speedrunner 
and the behavior of just someone playing the game normally would be about the same as far as like the openings you would get in these boss battles. But they're still over with pretty quick, so I understand. Okay, this is a boss, a boss blitz though. We're gonna be pressed for time, so I can't like be doing this. Also, I wanna save all these keys for the end. That's gonna be really satisfying if I do it that way. Hi, Pom Pom. You know, it, it sounds like she's saying boom boom more than pom more than boom boom has ever said boom boom. See, that one's fine. That one's like, that one doesn't need to be made any quicker. But for that gate lad especially, it's it's very like, yeah, okay, I'm in position. Let's move it along now. See, this is gonna get interesting, though. This is the only boss where I'm like, I'm happy with taking my time with it, just because it's just a genuinely fun boss. I bet I can, like, combo this, too. Oh, <gasps> Yo! You can get two hits in at once! See, now this is fun. Can you still do, like, the, the thing? It's like a, you can like attack from behind, kind of. I don't know, Tyler knew how to do it, but I forget how it works. <gasps> oh shit! I still got that in. Oh, I gotta watch it. I can't be playing games anymore, this is serious business. <gasps> I played games. I played videos game! Oh god, you have to do all these without dying? You just, yeah, just skip the cutscene. Thank you. Like, I feel like this thing, at least sending out maybe, like, square-shaped shockwaves would go a long way. And it's strange, too, because there are already, like, just standard enemies whose behavior kind of is to do that. So that would be, like, perfectly fitting, but they just kind of don't do it. And Remix Bosses would be, like, THE perfect opportunity for it as well. Uh, I might want to do this one. Just because of the power-up benefit of being able to take the cats from this battle with you to the other bosses. So if I just, like, play it maybe, like, a little more conservatively, and don't do the weird, like, trying to approach from behind shit, I'll probably be alright. How am I gonna get up here, though? <gasps> nice going, Miss Histocrat. You ate all the Rosalinas. I hope you're happy for what you did. It doesn't even really try to target the the quadrant of the square you're in either. The behavior is kind of predefined. Gimme. See, if I'm big, I'll go after Pom Pom and stuff, but... If I can use the power-ups, then Histocrat's definitely the move to make. They probably, like, put the clown one in here somewhere, but that that's double cherries. I don't think there's any, like, big power-ups you get out of that. I don't even know if you'd be able to take double cherry clones with you out of that, either. I think even if you could, wouldn't that kind of be a nightmare? I don't know, maybe I'll go for it. I'll just try to hit the right one. Wait a second! I thought top right was going to be boom boom because top left is pom pom. Alright. We're shaking it up a little bit. I guess I am still big, so... 
if I'm not in need of power-ups. Yeah, as I did say, he's definitely done. So what is it, this one then that I'm thinking of that's the clown? Oh, wait a second. Clown isn't even in this. Well, that cements that then. The only boss battle that you can get power-ups from is Histocrat. So actually, this is kind of the perfect order to do it. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh. Just barely, if I just waited a little bit longer. I would have gotten, like, a better cycle in. Also, the rumble during this boss battle goes crazy. Alright, give me those stones. I want to see some stones. I want to see some spheres. I want to see some rocks, please. Okay. This might still be a little bit tricky, though, because I've kind of gone and saved the worst for last now. Because, like, sure, this is the one boss that gives you power-ups, but it's also the one boss where, like, you're gonna need it. I don't know, the bell was in, like, a really bad position last time. I might just wait another cycle for, like, a better opportunity. Somewhere I can better climb up to without, like, crossing across, like, a chompy. Like that! There we go! See, now I have nothing to worry about. Yeah, I don't know how you- Oh! You- It's part of the dive! The dive is what allows you to get that extra hit in from behind. I remember now. Or is it? I don't know. Getting standard hits in isn't too difficult anyway, so I'll just go for it normally. At least I'll try. There it is! Oh, and you don't even need to do, like, a ground pound thing anymore, because Rosalina's double jump also gets you additional vertical movement on top of everything else. So that makes it even easier. Oh, this is so cheesable, actually. The Rosalina's double jump can fucking demolish this boss. I'm glad I thought of that when I did. This could have, like, gone in a completely different direction. So what's the third green star, then? Alright, let's get that M. Yeah, that feels good. I just want to make sure that there's no, like, secrets here. Okay. <gasps> I fucking knew that there was clowns! Look at this Joy-Con ass! Oh boy. Oh boy. <gasps> what? <sighs> no! I didn't even like die the, the normal way. I just went like careening off the ledge at my own expense. Oh, I see the game. It really would not be a grip and run if I didn't find some way of fucking it up one last time.
Boy, you really have to do all of these. I thought I was out of the woods. I wasn't ready for that. You got this? <laughs> Thank you, Glow Stars. I could use the encouragement at, at a time like this. Oh, I was about to say, I like lost track of where <laughs> Boom Boom went. I was hoping I could use the bonk off of the wall to my advantage, but apparently I cannot. <gasps> no! As if I needed one last slap in the face! I'm gonna have to see that between every single one of these boss battles, between every single attempt now. There has to be an option to just disable that though, right? Oh no, it's just camera settings. They're really doing me like this, aren't they? My god. It'd be nice to have any reserve power-ups, just from like a previous level before this, but... Yeah, the lucky cat level before this like really like cleaned me out. How am I gonna do Champion's Road with only 31 lives? There we go. You just can't let him get going. Gotta stop him in his tracks. Okay. Well, that's two. Let's see, so this one's a Brolder Blockade. This one's... Maybe I'll do Histocrat early? I don't know. I don't know what the play is here. I think I should do Histocrat early. At this point? With great suffering is how. I like my histocrat strategy. My histostrat, if you will. That I've since come up with, though. The layout of these seems to be the same every time, though. The pink ones always pop up in the exact same arrangement at the start. I don't know about the blue ones, I haven't been paying attention as much, but the pink ones seem to be the ones that give you the cat bell at first. Yeah. And now... I can take as many risks as I want here. Oh, but if I'm cat, I can't do the spin. Ah. Oh. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this normally for now. Up until the point I can get like a second cat bell in reserve. And then I can cheese this as much as I want. Or, just cheese now, I suppose. You know what's really fucked up? There are old LBA trailers that use this music. Like, I started working on LBA before 3D World came out even, I'm pretty sure. There's the reserve, baby. All right. Now I can be crazy. Love the funny noises that these chompy boys make.
there it is. Okay. We're doing good for hits. For allowable hits. Yeah, the double jump... Rosalina's double jump definitely makes cheesing that easier. But you don't need it. You can do it without, for sure. Well, then I still have this. This counts as previously collected. Because I got clowned on. Okay, so I've got... Pom Pom and Brolder Blockade left, so that's not too bad. Oh, look like the minute specular highlights in the fur. It's weird to see any surface detail in this game because everything's like very flat and plasticky. Well, not plasticky, I suppose, but you know, smooth is perhaps the better word in 3D World. Also, is that really what Rosalina's long jump sounds like? Uh-oh. I guess I'll get these. <gasps> There's no time to dawdle. To, di to dilly daddle. But yeah, just like the way she says, says hey is like really funny, I think. Like, she sees someone at a party that she doesn't want to talk to, like, Hey! Hi! Oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> I've got half a mind to pick this up with all my might and simply cast it into the- uh-oh. The lava with my bare hands. A little bit more, a little bit more. <gasps> Throw it! That, I, that was like wiggling in my hands. My life was wiggling before my eyes. Well, if there's ever been a time to equip Cat Bell. Cool, I have 30 seconds to beat this. Not even seconds. And it doesn't give you an extra clock for this either. Yeah, I think I might have like dawdled too long during the Histocrat thing and I was trying to, like, grind for power-ups? No way. No way I do this in, in the next 20 seconds. Like, I didn't even get, like, more than one opening. You just gotta wait. Well, see you again in another 500 Mario seconds. This one is the worst to repeat, I feel like. The other ones, the openings are like frequent enough and quick enough where it's like, okay. I could do a pom-pom, that's like a mini thing, that's not a big deal. Brolder Blockade is actually the only one you can like get in early cycles on. This one can get like bad. Actually, getting these coins when you clear the bosses is also, like, probably also not good. See, though, she says boom boom. So is there any way to tell which one is the real one just by looking at, like, the puffs of smoke? Or are they all, all identical before the reveal? Because I feel like there is, like, some, like, minute difference in, like, the coloring of the sparkles or, like, I don't know, some, like, Yoshi coin, you know, Yoshi's Island kind of, like, secret, right? They're just, like, slightly off. It's up to you to figure it out. Alright, yeah, Histocrat's gotta be next, then. If I'm down to this... That is, that's the one that always gets me. That's what I first took damage to, actually. 
I want to lead with I want to lead with Boom Boom actually. I take a lot of dumb hits to this one. Like if I overshoot it, then I start trying to like overcorrect, and I just throw myself. I don't even try to like. If I miss a hit and then I get out of it, it's like okay, well then just run away, and then try and better position yourself and then try again. It's like no. If I'm, like, leading with the jump, then I have to. What was that even for? What would a dive have accomplished? This is just, like, waiting it out on Boom Boom. The shadows help though, actually. I haven't been watching those. I think a lot of that, a lot of these missed jumps I'm making comes down de to depth perception. I'm just watching the shadow just kind of crawl across his big, smooth, bald head. I think is going to be the way to do it. Oh wait, does this, does the this spin attack also damage him? I feel like I didn't land on him, but I was able to, like, still turn it around because I spun before I, like, touched a, a danger zone. Uh-oh. My god, damage to simple flips. That's the worst kind. Yeah, I feel a histocrat coming on for sure. Guess if I'm just like waiting, I can do this. We got nothing better to do, I suppose. Here we go. You kind of have to do it from like the side corner. Doing it exactly from the back seems to be less consistent. But do I want to stick around to the point where I get a second cap bell is the question. We'll see what these guys dish out. Nothing? Okay. And literally dish out, too, because they have dishes on their heads. Oh, I might have canceled, though. There were plates about to come out. I could have used that. Well, yeah. If she does a whistle, then I'll take it, but... Yeah, that, that's a freebie. Then we'll wrap it up. Okay, 280 seconds. I don't know. I like how this one's nose is just kind of sticking out of the sand here. Shouldn't be going for the coins. Alright, so we got Pom Pom and Brolder. At least the timer doesn't count down during these little boss introductions. The UI kind of slides out of the way to the side. <gasps> I wonder if you can get her on that first bit before she warps, or if it's too fast. She has like polka dots on her shell too, I never, I never noticed that. Okay, 235. There's like a little time for coins. Because the coins show up before the, the warp box does. This one I've got to optimize. This is the only one I can actually make faster just by playing better. Because you can, you, you can get at least two on one cycle. I don't know if you can get all three before the spin initiates, but... Oh. 
that's such a little thing that could go such a long way. <laughs> ah! A two cycle, this is not. Okay, Stompy. Give me the Stompy. Alright, so that's a bit more generous than, I would say, what? What was it at before? 30? I think I'm done clowning around here. That was clean. And the double cherries get left behind, too. So as it turns out, no, they specifically built this in a way where you would not be able to bring the double cherries to any other bosses. But the cat bells do transfer. Oh shit, speaking of. Don't, don't, don't! <gasps> I don't even care if I miss the cycle, I don't care. Oh my god, that alone, like, added an extra half hour onto how long this, this, that 3D world has taken me tonight. Oh my god. I want them both to say hey together. Like that, like they're both, like they don't want to see each other at the party. Right, 335. So that leaves quite a hefty handful of levels for me to go back to. Actually, I can take a look at my totals right now and that'll give me a good idea of what I have. Okay, so I actually, for the most part, actually don't have too much to revisit. World Star was a little bit sloppy, but I did get better. I did get better as we went on. Look at this, all gold flags and world flower. Mwah. Beautiful. So I've got to get all of those, I've got to get all the stamps, which actually, I don't think is, is much, because there's no stamps here, and then, oh, I only missed a single one, aside from that, I'm 100% I'm with that then? But the, it says that there's so many more that I've missed than just one, I don't know then, we'll, we'll see. Anyways, uh, but hopefully, that was 3D World for tonight, and hopefully I'll be back with uh, Champions Road next time. Uh, but until then, coming up next is Sonic and the Secret Rings, so uh, please hold. <laughs>